it is very indicative that there was a lot of misinformation by the Chief Minister in Parliament as to the uh, reasons why this amendment was passed. The judgment shows that the Chief Minister basically uh, informed Parliament that he was correcting an error and a mistake in the 2004 Housing Act which needed correcting. And it transpires that this was not the case. But what is also terribly important is that the case highlights that it affected a very specific building and a very specific number of tenants, and it was not of general application, and that is one of the reasons it was not in the public interest. But the Chief Minister did inform Parliament that uh, the then Housing Minister, Paul Balvan, was, to use his words, coincidentally impacted by this change of law, and the response was not to make an issue of this in Parliament. Well, it, it, two things in that regard. First, yes, the interest was declared, and yes, we are told that Mr. Balban didn't uh, participate in any discussion relating to um, this particular amendment and that he didn't vote on it. Um, that doesn't answer all the questions, though, does it? Because, you know, one knows that in Gibraltar uh, a government is very close. One knows out from the judgment that Mr. Balban personally took the landlords to court to try and fix his rent in this building. And lo and behold, then we get a very specific amendment relating to the building in which he lives and reducing the rents that had been agreed between the landlord and the tenant. It's not a forced increase that was put on the tenants by the landlord. It was an agreed rent. Nevertheless, Parliament was informed that Paul Balvan was impacted by this decision and the GSD MP's response was uh, not to make an issue of this. So did they fall asleep at the wheel? Well, not so, I would say. There is a coincidence of policy in terms of housing. The, 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 the GSD opposition believes in the fact that rents should be controlled, but it believes that it should be controlled within the public interest, which is a requirement under our Constitution and the European Convention of Human Rights. If it is told that this is what is happening, then that coincidence of policy would dictate that they vote in favour, and I think this is what happened, that it then transpires that on further investigation in a, in a, in a court, it, it is shown that there was misinformation upon which the opposition based its, its, its voting, then that responsibility does not lie with the opposition, it lies with the government. So it sounds like the GSD's main gripe is that the Chief Minister allegedly misinformed the Parliament rather than uh, that Paul Balvan's role in this situation is somehow wrong. Uh, absolutely. It, it, the, the, the issue of misinformation is by far the most important one. But then the subsidiary issue arises, why that misinformation when there was a particular minister interested, that he has voluntarily decided not to pay the rent at that level, is a matter for him, but it does not a matter that overcomes the issues that arises in relation to conflicts of interest.